Good evening, everybody. That's right. It's your boy, Roy Will Be Roy, coming back at you from the lovely Las Vegas, Nevada. As you can tell by the thumbnail, that's right. We're going to be rehousing Flexitron. As you know, Flexitron is my Costa Rican zebra leg tarantula. And thanks to a generous benefactor, we were able to get Flexitron a new home, all the supplies to make sure Flexitron has a long and lustrous life as long as Flexitron lives. Um, Flexitron, he, uh, Flexitron is a zebra leg tarantula. Um, they average anywhere from four, you know, anywhere from four to six inch leg spans on them. They prefer, prefer temperatures anywhere from 75, 85 degrees. They also like humidity. So uh, upwards of 85% humidity is good for them. So I was able to get, a, uh, thanks to the benefactor, an enclosure for Flexitron. And this will be Flexitron's final home. It's big enough and I got enough supplies, uh, thanks to the benefactor, to make sure, like I said, Flexitron lives a long, lustrous life. But also with uh, Flexitron, the species that Flexitron is, they can tend to be pretty moody. Um, they, you can handle them. They are handleable, but it's like, they're just like people. Sometimes they're in a good mood. Sometimes they're in a bad mood. So you definitely got to be prepared when you do this rehousing. So I'm going to go ahead and get myself prepared for this rehousing. And then I'll come right back to you and actually show you the rehousing of Flexitron. Everybody, here we go. This is Flexitron's new home. Very large shoe box. We got some ventilation holes on the sides here. So first, what we're first going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, fill, fill it up with some uh, soil. This uh, it's called Repto soil. Made by Zoom Ed. Um, and it's going to take forever by doing it via this cup. But let's let's start with this though. We'll do this small corner. And we'll get the little the little hide in there for trying. You probably want to put at least a good three to four inches of uh, soil in there. So we'll go ahead and get this in there. There we go. Yeah. All right. Let's see how that looks. Make sure you pack it down. You know, good. They like to burrow as well. So you just want you definitely want to give them enough room or enough soil in there to you know burrow in their thing. Let's take a little bit and put it in the back here. That kind of gives us a or a hole there to maybe burrow down in. Hold that up there like that. Oh, so there we go with that. Give her some more soil here. So yeah, I want to give her a good like maybe three, four inches. You know, some some like to burrow, some like to hang out on top. Just depends on the species, you know. Whatever species you got, so let's get in there and pack that down there nice and good. Like I said, got vent the holes. This will give her an opportunity to you know, burrow wherever she feels like it. All right. Like I said, they love humidity, so you can know, you know, wet it down if you want. To, uh, but it's already kind of wet, this soil. So, All right, so we'll put that there. A little bit more here. Don't want to cover up the ventilation holes because you want to be able to get air, you know. But So we can start with that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to give her some green stuff. Because like I said, once again, she loves the humidity. So, you know, we're going to put some sphagnum moss in there. Some moss. You know, we got to make it look all, you know, look all homey and pretty for the spider. Going to make her home look tight. You know what I'm saying? You know, and uh, this time you could either pre-soak. Um, or, you know, if you want to pre-soak it, you can do that as well. I've got to have this green stuff here. Then I'm going to put some, uh, some other stuff I've had soaking, some sphagnum moss. But that'll give it a nice look there. Then we'll give her, some, you know, give her, you know, some more moss over here. Different, like, you know, different substrate. You know, so when they build their webs, they can, you know, use different substrates. But I think that'll look good. I still got to give her a water bowl. We'll put the water bowl in later. Like I said, she's got plenty of water in here right now. She's creating moisture. Plus, she just took a big drink the other day, or he or she. So, let me be right back and uh, give me some water. 
All right, we're back with some water. Um, we're just gonna get a spring, put some water on this moss here. Let that absorb into that moss. You can also do this with the spray bottle if you have a spray bottle. I don't have a spray bottle on me currently, but you can do this with the spray bottle. I just want to make sure that moss is, you know, you know, moist. Like I said, they love the humidity, so. All right, so. There you go. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. What y'all think? Leave down in the comments what y'all think about Flexitron's new home. So give me one minute. We'll grab Flexitron. And I'll show you how to put Flexitron in here. All right. Be right back. All right, guys. There he or she is, Flexitron. Let's open her up here. Or him. There we go. Now, like I said, they can be grumpy a little bit, you know. That's aggressive. You always want to have a cup around. Um, it doesn't hurt to have a spare cup around. Um, that way, if they are kind of aggressive or jumpy, you can just kind of shoo them into the cup, and then you can transfer into the new cage. Um, so she's been acting kind of feisty, so I'm not going to pick her up right now. But uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, see if we can get her to get in this cup here. There she goes. Yeah, told you, man. You know, you might want to grab yourself some tweezers or... Let me just put it right here. Okay. Come on. She might just run up into the cage, you know. And here, we'll just put her in this cup. See, she's a little, being a little feisty here. We're just going to see if we can get her on this cup here. There we go. There you go. Now she's in the cup. So now we can just go ahead and uh, move that out the way. The old, the old crusty cage there. And we'll bring back her beautiful new cage here. There it is, yeah, yeah. We'll go ahead and uh, put her in there. Yeah, there she is. There you go. Come on, flex the trunk. Get up in there, flex the trunk. Come on. Come on. Try to. There we go. There we go. There she is, flex the trunk. Oh yeah, I think she's gonna like this. Uh, once again, thank you to the benefactor. Um, for making this all possible, you know. Flexitron, I think, is going to love her uh, or his or her new home. Um, like I said, this will be probably her home for the rest of her life. It's big enough. Um, and like I said, I think she's going to like it. And uh, once again, thank you guys for watching. And uh, remember, like, share, subscribe. And um, we'll talk to you guys later. All right, thank you.